Hi, Selam. In this tutorial, I won't be teaching you anything related to the language. I'll give you only some tips and tricks so how not to get ripped off if you're getting a taxi in Istanbul. So I will be sharing three top apps, even locals use in Istanbul. Well, if you've clicked on this video, I assume you're already familiar with the level of corruption in Istanbul, especially with taxi drivers. Even as locals, uh, we experience that on a daily basis. So it's very stressful each time we, we need to take a taxi and we don't take it unless we really need it. Well, um, when I refer to as being ripped off, I don't refer to a few dollars more you may end up paying. No, it's it's really huge amount, even hundreds of dollars, and you don't even realize it. So it's a huge scam going on in Istanbul, and I totally suggest that you use taxi apps. So I will share uh, three taxi apps. Let me get started with the first one. Be taxi. I will share my screen um, to the web so you can see. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. So, um, well, as you see, well, they have a, they have it in English, the app in English, so you will be easily understanding how how it works so you enter your road and then you click on the type of taxi and the taxi driver comes and picks up from the location um that the taxi driver sees you online um what what is good about the app is it shows you the distance how long it takes and uh, and how much it costs approximately um uh, please bear in mind there's huge traffic in istanbul it can show you the distance but uh if there is uh traffic it's in rush hour you might end up paying more than the approximate amount so um that is that um, one thing you need to know about this app, you can download the app and activate it already with your local number in your own country before traveling to Turkey. So it's very convenient. You don't have to have a Turkish number then. But with the next app, now I will introduce you, eTaxi. It's almost the same with B-Taxi, not really different, but... You have to activate it with your Turkish number. So um, if you don't have Turkish number and you don't want to have, you can't you really use this app, then I suggest you to stick to B-Taxi. And next is Uber. As everybody knows it, I'm sure this is popular in your country, wherever you are. Uh, we have Uber and um, a friend of mine who had Uber in the States could use her Uber account in Turkey, but she was charged on dollar basis. And I think um, she she paid a few dollars more than she was supposed to. So I suggest you to stick up to the local apps uh, like B-Taxi or E-Taxi if you have a Turkish number. So that's it. That brings me to the end. Uh, I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If yes, please thumbs up for like and support. And next, I have a question. Have you used any of these apps? If yes, how was your experience? And are there any other apps you have used and found useful? Please share in the comments down below for people to really communicate with each other. Maybe you can be useful food to someone who wants to travel to Turkey. Okay. I will see you in the next on how to communicate with the taxi driver. Görüşürüz. Bye-bye.